A mobile mother is demanding justice tonight, two years after her son was shot and killed outside of Panera Bread on airport. News 5's Nicholas Schleisman joins us now live off airport with why the family and friends are gathering tonight. Amber, two years ago tomorrow, Justin Edwards was shot and killed here in the parking lot outside of Panera. His family gathered here tonight. No parents should have to bury a child. It's been two years since Sharice Edwards lost her son. Just trying to take it one day at a time. I mean, it's really hard. The emotions are still fresh for her and her family. Not one day goes by that we will not remember him, you know. And Thanksgiving is hard because it happened a week prior to Thanksgiving. So there's no thanks in our giving, to be honest. Her son, 24-year-old Justin Edwards, was shot and killed on November 18, 2017, in a parking lot off airport. It's like losing a breath when you're unable to breathe. And it's like every night going to bed, hoping that we'll get that phone call that something is done. Another beautiful soul lost to the streets, and no one is doing nothing about it. family says they're still waiting for justice tonight, remembering his life with a vigil. I never was able to do one and I finally got the strength to do it, so I wanted to do it today. Two suspects were arrested in connection with the case, Taylor Law and Ryland Kidd. Law's case was initially dismissed by a judge in 2018. Earlier this year, she was indicted by a grand jury and booked into Metro Jail for a felony murder charge. Prosecutors say the other suspect, Ryland Kidd, fired the shots. Law and justice has not been served yet. Edward's family says they need justice so he can finally be at rest. It has been devastating because we still haven't had justice for him yet, you know. We just try to live day to day, you know, one day at a time to get through it. And Kidd is scheduled to be back in court in December. His jury trial is set to start April 2020. Reporting live on Airport, Nicolette Schleisman, WKRG News 5.